Welcome back to another hair video. As you guys see, I'm prepped and ready to go. I already have my wig cap on. First things first, of course, I'll show you guys the packaging. This caught my eye because I've never had any type of packaging like this before. Now, it comes with a zipper where you can place your wig inside. So, this is storage for your braided wig. Okay, and then on the side, you have a pentlet with... All the instructions you need to know to you know maintain the hair and all of those good things and this comes with a hook so you can hook it on the door or even good with traveling too as well so you can just fold it and go you guys I love the bag and then inside of course you get your wig cap some lashes and I do get some accessories for the braids I get the wig band that I will be using for my lace you guys in the video so I love when hair companies give me this because I really do use it and I was excited because they gave me a bonnet and I love this bonnet because it comes with a thick band for the edges and uh, the rest is silk okay so I love love this bonnet and for the showstopper okay here is the wig you guys I am obsessed this is 36 inches long this is their knotless braids over hip length full head tied okay HD lace this is small squared box braided wig and do you guys see the lace look how HD and realistic this look it's giving per scalp okay so all the way around this is a full lace unit um, and it comes with the baby hairs for you I was just amazed at the quality the quality is amazing right out of the box like you guys I've been trying to find a wig a braided wig that is giving scalp and this is giving scalp so in the back of the unit you do have baby hairs all the way around which I love because you can just do so many styles with this wig you could do so much and be 100% versatile with it it does come with this band um, inside of it and I like the material on this band because it gives your, um, your, your yourself some grip to the wig and then it comes with the adjustable strap still in the back with your combs on the side now here I am going in with placing on the wig you guys um, one thing I did notice with this wig as soon as I put it on it was not heavy and um, I know you guys may have questions about uh, the density and how it feels on my head is it flat I one thing I will say is it came flat like it's a really flat wig I remember having a braided wig where it was not flat at all and it was bulky this wig comes flat down to your head as y'all can see I was just amazed like so happy <laughs> okay so right off the rip I realized that the wig is flat and I like how it feels on my head it is not heavy and it doesn't come with any type of bulkiness to the wig so it's not bulky um, I like I said I had a braided wig before where it was a bulky and it like it, it was like a head on my head like it just sat on my head and you can tell it was a wig okay so with this is not giving wig like at all okay so I know sometimes you can be very self-conscious with wearing a braided wig I mean because it's a braided wig so you can be very self-conscious but with this hair I felt so comfortable I felt so comfortable wearing this wig and as y'all can see all the way around it is full lace like scalp period <laughs> I was so happy so I took my makeup powder and I put that all over my um my wig cap so that everything can blend really really good and I kind of put this damn near all over the wig cap because like I said this is full lace and you can see the full lace all over this wig okay and you might want to put some inside of the actual wig cap in the actual wig around all over your lace it's optional it just all depends on your liking and what you you know are comfortable with and I am using my adhesive um, glue it's by Eben is the brand 
Now, another thing I would say, um, I wouldn't recommend using any type of like harsh glue. And when I say harsh glue, I mean like heavy glue, like what I'm using here. Um, I recommend personally just using some type of spray. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that um, in a minute. But yeah, um, I'm just going to let you guys watch this process because I am going to talk about it once I get to that part. But I would suggest using any type of adhesive spray because it's quick and it's easy you don't need anything too heavy on the lace because it's a braided wig you know so i'll explain that like i said um later on in this video so you guys can get a clear understanding but here i am installing the wig it was super easy and it melt down really well <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, I think that I put the wig too far up because it's not giving me space to do baby hairs on the side right here, as y'all can see. Um, like right here is fine. My forehead is fine, but the size is too close to my head. So that's something that I will like just take note of the next time that I install this wig, you know, glue it down. And I was, now it's too late to um, take, cause the glue is so fresh and I, I didn't use like any type of like, I didn't use any type of light glue. I used some really hard glue, which probably was my mistake. So that's another a lesson learned. I, I don't think that you need any like adhesive glue with doing a braided wig. I only think that you need adhesive spray. So this is what I mean by adhesive lace bond spray. Anything that you can spray and lay down your wig, that's, that's the best option. But not any adhesive glue because I think that it's just too harsh for a braided wig. You know, like, I don't think this, you know, and then the lace is good quality. Like, this lace is really good quality. And it's thin lace, so it just melts down automatically. So, I'm just having a hard time with trying to figure out what to do with the edges because, um on the side but the sideburns is fine I just think that it, right here is where it gets too close to my eyebrows so it could be pushed back a little bit more like I got a big forehead so I'm just being honest that I pushed it up too too fast too far um but the front of my forehead is fine so I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I should uh style the baby hairs in the front but on the side right here where my eyebrow is I'm just gonna have to just swift it in until now because yeah it's too long but that's just something to take note of with a braided wig wigs in general honestly but definitely a braided wig this one um you don't want to get too close to your forehead with a braided wig like you just don't like i'm so used to wearing my lace front wigs like actual lace front wigs um that you know i have a certain way that i lay my hair down but with these wigs you the braided wigs you don't need to do that like just be very careful and mindful about that so yeah just trying to figure this part out and then we can get back into how we're going to style or whatever the case may be with this hair I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yarns. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind would have made me. Try 
tried to get by, but I'm burning. I mean, I, my mind all these thoughts I'm trouble. Okay, y'all, let's get into it. So my thoughts, my final thoughts on this hair, it's amazing. Now I was trying to like adjust the braids to this one side but some of the braids are kind of like molded in its place like i can't really explain it but i think you guys can get what i'm saying i was trying to flip it over on one side um but it wasn't staying down it was kind of like still lifting up a little bit so what i tried to do was i grabbed my clips my hair clips um really quick and i clipped it down so that it can like mold down and be flat you know as y'all can see what I'm doing, y'all can see what I'm doing. So, um, I did grab my clips and I did end up like just clipping it down. And then I grabbed some mousse and I put a scarf on and I end up like waiting until like the mousse kind of dried down a little bit or I, whatever, whenever I felt like it was ready for me to take the scarf off. So you guys are going to see me quickly do that so you guys can get an understanding of what I mean. But I did get up so you guys can see the length of the hair. I'm about 5'2", 5'1", in height, and it goes all the way down to my butt, my cuff of my butt, the cuff of my butt, I'm sorry. So, y'all see, I put the scarf on real quick, laid it down for a minute, edges popping, period. <laughs> um, then I took the wig off and the clips off to see if that actually worked. So, it did work a little bit, I would say, so if you guys do want to do that when it comes down to this wig, you can. Um might want to use some holding spray or something something that's going to adjust those braids to lay down flat child like so i end up just um switching it over to the other side and you know just doing different styles playing around with it because the hair is so versatile like you can do so much um that's one thing i love about this hair i did a little um half up half down you know a little top knot do on top it was just so cute and fun and fun to play around with. I actually put the whole hair up in a ponytail, which I didn't show in this video. But I got so many compliments on this hair, you guys. Like, people thought I had my hair actually braided. I have to tell them that this was a wig. Like, I kid you not. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. Y'all know I give honesty all the way through. But, yes, this is my honest review on the hair. 10 out of 10 for me i will definitely recommend and uh, if there is any coupon codes it will be in my description box i love y'all so much make sure y'all click the description box and click on the link to this hair and check them out like and the price is not bad at all for a braided wig like it's not in the thousands of dollars get with it or get left <laughs> i love y'all and i'll see y'all in my next video